sure in the chameleon hobby and throughout your research you've heard of words and you're like I'm not really sure what that means or it means one thing but in the context of chameleons it means something else so I'm going to be giving you guys some common chameleon vocabulary words so without further ado let's get into the chameleon ABCs A is for arboreal which is any species that lives up in the trees or are tree climbers which is what chameleons are B is for basque, which is what a chameleon does when they are on their basking branch underneath their basking bulb, absorbing heat. C is for cask, which is the top of the chameleon's head. D, D, <laughs> there we go, is for dusting. And that's when you sprinkle on the different multivitamin and calcium that the bugs need for the chameleon. E is for egg bound and this is when a female chameleon is stuck with eggs or bound with eggs and doesn't have anywhere to lay them. This is the most common cause of death for a female chameleon. F, is that an F? <laughs> F is for fired up. This is when a chameleon is showing their brightest colors. Typically when a male sees a female chameleon then he'll get fired up or nice and bright in order to attract the female. G is for gravid, which is the reptile word for pregnant. So a gravid chameleon is a pregnant chameleon. H is for hemipenes, which is the male reproductive organ in a chameleon. A second H, because I just want to touch on this one, is husbandry, which is kind of a weird word, but husbandry refers to the care for the reptile. So if someone's like, what is your husbandry? Do you have good husbandry? They're asking, how do you take care of your chameleon? How is your chameleon set up? So it's gonna be like the lights, the humidity, the enclosure, all that plays into the husbandry. I is for impaction. This is when a chameleon is unable to digest and process something, so it's stuck inside of them. So most commonly that's going to be substrate. So a chameleon will eat maybe say dirt or bark or something like that and is unable to pass it. So they are now impacted. Another common example is plastic plates. So they eat the plastic plants, they're unable to digest it and pass it, and now they're impacted. This can also be a cause of death. J is for juvenile, which refers to the age of a chameleon. A juvenile chameleon will typically be anywhere from four to eight months old. K, 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 is this a K? <laughs> K stands for camouflage creations, which is one of the longest standing, longest known breeder of panther chameleons. They have a long lineage, multiple generations. They've been in the business for a long, long time. So they're a name that's very popular that you'll hear in the chameleon hobby. So if someone says camouflage creations or I have a camera baby, that's what they're referring to. L is for locale, which is two things. One, it tells you where in Madagascar the chameleon is from. For example, Neptune is an Ambilobi panther chameleon, which tells me that he's from Ambilobi, Madagascar. The other part of locale is every region of Madagascar has different coloration of panther chameleons. So if someone tells me that they have an Ambilobi chameleon, then I have an idea of what it looks like. So it's not only the region, but the coloration of the chameleon. M is for metabolic bone disease, commonly referred to as MBD, and this is probably one of the more common illnesses in a chameleon, and it's usually the result of improper UVB and improper calcium. And what ends up happening is it's just like rickets in humans, so the body will start to extract the calcium from the bones, and that's why the chameleons will end up with bendy bones. This is common in all species of reptiles, but definitely in chameleons. And not only does it affect the bones, but it's internal damage. The body's not getting what it needs, and as a result, will start to shut down. And if, if it's not corrected, it's usually fatal. N is for necropsy, which is basically an animal autopsy, which can be done to help determine cause of death. O is for oviparous, which refers to an animal that lays eggs to give birth, which is what most, but I want to say not all, species of chameleon do. Veiled and panther chameleons lay eggs, but for example, a Jackson's chameleon gives live birth. P, how do I make a P? P? P <laughs> is for prolapse. 
and this is when any internal organ it doesn't stay inside it comes out so that could be like the hemipenes or any other organ and it comes out in the sticking outside the body that's a prolapse and if this isn't quickly treated with a vet then that can also be fatal q we need like a little thing sticking out <laughs> q is for quarantine which is what's recommended when you get a new chameleon or a new reptile or species in general to make sure that they're eating drinking that they test negative for parasites before introducing them to your other animals in the same room r is this an r <laughs> baby r is for receptive and this is when a female is showing colors that she is receptive to the male in the context of breeding i'm not sure how to make an s one r is this an s is this an s an s an s so that's an s for me so is that is that an s for you guys um, anyways, S is for supplements, which is going to refer to all the powders that we put on top of our bugs before we feed them to our chameleon. This is going to be things like a multivitamin, calcium without vitamin D3, calcium with vitamin D3, even bee pollen. All these things are things that they would normally get in the wild, but because they're in captivity, we have to supplement them into their diet. And I made a whole video about supplements, so be sure to check that out here and in the description box below. T, this is a baby T, a big T. T is for tarsal spur. And this is going to be on a veiled chameleon. Most commonly, other species have them, but in the common chameleon hobby, veiled chameleons are the most popular. And a tarsal spur is going to be the little bump on the back foot of a male veiled chameleon. So when you're trying to sex a male and a female, this is a great way to tell the difference. U, is for urate and this is going to be the white colored part of the chameleon poop so when a chameleon poops you've got the brown poop part and you have the urate which is basically the chameleon urine and so a healthy urate is going to be mostly white there may be a little bit of yellow or a little bit of orange that's totally normal what you don't want though is a urate that's going to be like totally orange that is a sign of a dehydrated chameleon v v v v V is for vent, and that's gonna be at the base of the tail. You'll see a small slit. This is the vent, and this is where everything that's supposed to come out will come out. W is for wild caught. I feel like this one's kind of self-explanatory, but something that you may see as a WC in the context of conversations, and WC stands for wild caught, which is what it sounds like. It's a chameleon that was caught in the wild versus being captive bred. X, I don't have a word for X, but something you see very common in the chameleon hobby is something like a 2X, 2X, 4. What that means is a two by two by four, which is giving you the length times width times height of a chameleon enclosure. So it's usually in the context of the dimensions of a cage. Y, is that a Y? <laughs> y is for Yemen, which is where a veiled chameleon is actually from. So you may hear them referred to as a Yemen chameleon, and that just refers to where they're found in the world. Z, the Z, <laughs> Z, Z, is for xyrodactyl feet, which refers to basically bird feet, where the first and third digit point backwards and the second and fourth digit point forward. So a common misconception or misnomer is that people think that chameleons have xyrodactyl feet, when in actuality they have five digits that are just fused into two groups. So it's either two toes fused together or three toes fused together. And that wraps up our chameleon ABCs. Hopefully you learned some new chameleon vocab, or maybe this was a nice refresher for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video. And you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye! Ooh, that was a workout. <laughs>